Hi, everybody, and welcome to Friday FYI from St. John's Church here in Grimsby, Ontario. I'm Reverend Kyle Dorr, and this is the place where you can hear about all the wonderful things that you can take part in through St. John's. And as always, you don't have to be in Grimsby to participate. We are doing all this stuff virtually for now. So wherever you are in the country, in the province, in the world, in the universe, in the world anyway, uh, you are welcome to participate in what we are doing. Uh, first of all, uh, the best way to get connected with us is to join our mailing list. You can email uh, our administrator, Nancy Louise. Her email address is in the video description. Coming up this Sunday, our family's gathering. We were hoping to get outside in a park in Grimsby. Uh, the town has not yet uh, decided to rent public spaces. Uh, I guess this is due to the uh, the uh, COVID precautions. So for this week, we will meet on Zoom at 10 o'clock. And so if you would like that Zoom link, you can send me an email or you can reach out to Nancy Louise and we would love to connect with you because this is going to be a time when we talk about our Palm Sunday preparations and how we want to celebrate that this year. Again, I hope to be in person with families soon. Uh, so just hang on to your hats, your Easter bonnets for that. Coming up this Sunday, our worship service takes place premiering at 1030 uh, here on this YouTube channel. And uh, we are uh, looking at Mark chapter 9. And who are Jesus' favorites? Who was his favorite disciple? Who did he prefer? Who does he prefer today? We're going to take a look at that. And a reminder also that this weekend, the clocks spring forward an hour. Uh, so, I mean, the good news is with being online, uh, that's a little bit less hassle to get out the door. It's uh, just going to feel a little bit earlier uh, than you're used to. Uh, but again, it is uh, the weekend where we spring ahead. So remember uh, that your clocks will go ahead uh, I'm assuming that everything is digital, so it will set itself forward uh, for you. Uh, so just be ready for a rude awakening in the morning, uh, Sunday morning. But it's going to be very welcoming when you come to uh, participate in our online service this week. We look forward to joining you there. Coming up on Wednesday, it's Life Group at 7 o'clock on Zoom. Uh, and if you would like to participate, please reach out to Derek Maggs. Uh, his email address for Life Group is in the video description. This week, I am so enthralled. I'm so interested in how this is going to go. Uh, we are looking at uh, one of the most interesting books, in my opinion, of the Old Testament, where you can find all of the classic uh, blood and guts and gore of the Old Testament in the book of Judges. Maybe you hear about Samson in Sunday school, but there was a whole bunch of other stories uh, that are a lot worse than that, that you probably didn't hear about in Sunday school. Well, you can hear about them here on Wednesday night uh, at Life Group at 7 o'clock. Uh, again, the topic is when we walk out on God. Because uh, as you read the book of Judges, uh, the people of Israel, God's people, are moving away from him. They're not walking in the path that uh, he has uh, set forward for them to walk in. And uh, the whole thing just unravels. Uh, and my goodness, uh, it uh, is... Uh, quite a thing today to become unraveled a little bit and to uh, kind of when we wander away from God too. It's not just an Old Testament issue. It's something that affects people in all uh, all stages of the history and uh, just kind of look at that. So you want to uh, come and be a part of the life group, you reach out to Derek and uh, let him know. Uh, coming up in a few weeks is Holy Week. We've got Palm Sunday. We've got Good Friday. We have Easter Sunday. Uh, I'm going to need a few folks that would be willing to do some dramatic readings for that. I have heard from a couple of folks, and I am uh, thankful for that. And uh, I've got you on my list of folks to contact. Uh, I need a few more. So if you are up 
for doing a dramatic reading, not necessarily a scripture reading. If you want to do scripture reading, that's great. We'll welcome that. Uh, but uh, trying to do uh, a little bit more uh, different style of uh, service in Good Friday where we have some more sort of a reader's theater dramatic reading, uh, please let me know uh, and I'll send the script to you. Uh, and we'd love to have you participate because it's really merrier when there are more people participating. Uh, lots of things that are happening at St. John's this week uh, and in the weeks ahead. And we love having you be a part of this wherever you are in Grimsby or across the globe. So uh, also you will notice uh, linked in this video is uh, today's uh, daily devotion from uh, Maria, and we're looking at uh, the transfiguration from Mark chapter 9, so you're going to want to uh, check that out before uh, you come to worship this weekend, because it sort of sets up the whole story as we move through the Gospel of Mark. Anyway, I will be uh, back on the channel uh, on Saturday with another daily devotion, and of course, Sunday for worship, and I look forward to to joining with you then and please invite a friend to worship this sunday it's as easy as emailing them a link so uh, don't be shy and uh, bring them along to uh, experience what we do online until then be safe be blessed and go in peace